Hey everyone, I hope you're doing good and safe um, and it's been a while since I uploaded any video and obviously time just flies. So I thought I'll restart something interesting. So we'll start with JavaScript for automation and in this entire series we'll talk about why we need to learn JavaScript as a tester and how much knowledge is required in order to be a successful automation tester. So I'll share a lot of my real-time examples as well as challenges and the way I overcome those, those challenges. So that's the entire core agenda of this series and I hope you will like this. Um, let's start with the first question of why we need to learn JavaScript, right? So because we got a lot of variety of languages like Java, Python, Ruby, Go, everything, why we need to specifically adopt to JavaScript? So I've just put together five different points um, which I believe that we should be learning this, we should be adopting this. So let's start with the uh, first reason. The topmost reason is variety. So you can think of, we have a, a number of frameworks written or available in JavaScript. And this is not a complete list. We have a lot more of them, but just wanted to show you that the leading or popular ones. So starting with WebDriver.io, Cypress.io, which is totally a different, it's not a Selenium tool. Basically WebDriver.io is a Selenium one. Uh, we also got Mocha, Jest, Jasmine, Playwright. Playwright is now becoming a more uh, interop interoperable uh, tool which supports different languages. And we also got Casper.js, Puppeteer uh, was, a, was a known one. Nightwatch, Codesep, JS, Postman. Postman pretty much most of you are aware. This is used for API testing as well as we can also use them for any programmatically as well. So all these tools are a flavor of JavaScript, meaning either, either it's written in Node.js or native JavaScript. So the reason is we can, we have a flexibility to adopt to any of these tools depending on our specific needs, right? And I can't think of any other language having such a variety. So this is the top one reason why we need to adopt to JavaScript. And number two is uh, JavaScript is no longer a, just a web development language. It has now become a full stack programming language. So when we say full stack, what does it mean? So basically it can pretty much do any backend services as well. So with the combination of JavaScript and Node.js, we can now write almost anything that other programming languages are doing, right? So it's been there for a while. It's not a recent thing. It's been there for a couple of decades, I would say, but it is trending now because if you, if you, if you think of any other recent projects, obviously they tend to be writing that in Node.js. So they are trying to adopt to a single language framework. For example, you can think they will, uh, any, program, any program or project will develop their web application using JavaScript and their backend services using Node.js. So obviously in this scenario, we will be, the testing team will also be getting a higher interest to adopt to any JavaScript instead of writing in a separate language, right? So that's another reason why we need to adopt to JavaScript. And third one is this is just based on the GitHub usage over the last year. And you can see JavaScript is obviously leading. So based on the GitHub usage, you can see JavaScript is, JavaScript is number one, number two, Python, and we have Java, Go, Ruby, and TypeScript. So obviously in the current trend, this is obviously the leading language. As I told you before, a lot of the real-time current projects are adopting to a Node.js based backend services, and they use JavaScript for their front end. So this is another reason why we need to learn this. And fourth one is an interesting one, because if you come from a, a testing background quite a long time, then those are the days where we were adopting more of a waterfall delivery. So where we have a separate independent testing team writing their own set of codes and frameworks separately without worrying about the development language. But now in real time, most of the projects are using adopt agile delivery methodology, more of CI, CD and DevOps. So obviously there is a higher interest to adopt to a single language so that a developer can write the test code and testers can also uh, write pretty much of development code as well. So that's the, because of the shared responsibility, this is getting more popular. And trust me, in a lot, a lot of my recent projects, uh, I've been using the same language which the developer is also using because we have a flexibility to extend the test and it's a single language. Right? We do not have to worry about different uh, dependency management and etc. So that's another reason why we need to adopt to Node.js or JavaScript. And the final reason is we also got TypeScript uh, to handle any of the semantic errors. So we'll see them in detail, but the extended version of JavaScript is the TypeScript. Basically people coming from a, a OPS, the object oriented programming, then we have a types, type declaration and type definition. 
So in order to address that, in order to avoid a lot of uh, runtime errors, then obviously TypeScript will rescue those errors. So with all of these five reasons, and there are a few more, uh, so I believe that we should be learning, as a tester, we should be upskilling and learning or adapting to JavaScript. So that's it for now, and we'll, we'll see you in the next topic.